Hey guys, it's Beauty by Grey, aka Amanda. Thanks so much for joining me today. We have a springtime everyday look for you. Makeup look that is, okay? If you want to see the rest, stay tuned, subscribe. I want you to just go ahead and subscribe because you can't miss this. You just can't miss it, okay? All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. So we're gonna work on the brows, okay? I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 155 brush. Let's see if y'all can see that. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe B45 brush. Love these two brushes. I don't use anything else. Okay, so I'm going in with ColourPop. Um, black and brown brow pomade. And what I'm going to do is just go in and carve out these brows. Um, I've been really loving how I've been doing my brows lately. I've been letting them grow just a little bit. That's not battle tested, basic. And there you have it. All right. All right. So the brows are done. Now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this one's in the color Medium 26. Um, I like to carve out my brows with just a bit of a lighter um, concealer because it makes the brows pop. In my opinion. So yeah. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just gonna buff out that concealer right under the brow just slightly. I'm trying to wipe it all away, leaving the good stuff there. Now we got a sharp brow like what? Okay, <laughs> and there we go. On to the next. So I'm taking my Kiko Neutral Eye Base Primer. Love this stuff, swear by this stuff. I always get it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna put that right on the eyes. I don't like to waste products, so if I had any extra, I use it on the other eye. No wasting over here, okay? I like to take some setting powder. This is RCMA um, No Color Setting Powder. And I like to just take my flat top brush. This is from Elf. 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 Um, and literally just set the eye like this. I feel like it just helps um, the eyeshadows go on a bit smoother. Um, sometimes you can experience a little creasing when the, uh, what is this, the primer is not set. Um, some people like it not set, and I like it set. All right. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 513 brush. Can y'all see that? It's really nice and fluffy, nice and clean. And then I figured I would use my um, Morphe 35G Bronze Goals palette. I've been loving this palette. If you guys don't have it, you need to get it. I'll show you what it looks like. So dope. And it's like, at first you look at it and it's like, oh, a bunch of neutral colors. But then it's like, ah, oh, the shimmers are like my fave. So, all right, we're gonna go in. I feel like we're gonna go in with this color today as my transition crease shade. Alright. Just gonna put that in the crease just like so. Just know that I get it. 
I'm gonna show y'all the palette again, and I feel like I wanna go in with this color right here. It's like a peachy-ish, pinkish um, shimmer shade in this palette. Um, I also, so if you're gonna be gone all day and you want it to last um, quite a while, my trick is to use the NYX Glitter Glue. And um, obviously it's glitter glue, but there's no rules to the game, okay? I use it just to simply, and I only use like just a dot, because you really don't need a little bit. I mean, you really don't need a lot, okay? <laughs> you only need a little bit. And um, this really just helps the eyeshadow just stick, especially if you have oily lids like myself. Um, it really helps with staying power, okay? So I'm just gonna pack this pretty shade on my lid. Look at that, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, so pretty. <laughs> okay, you are just packing that on, all right? All right, and I'm just going to go back in with the Morphe 513 blending brush. Pick up that same color I picked up before and just go in the crease to where I got a little eyeshadow at. And that is it. All right, so I'm going in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black. Um, it's a liquid liner. Um, I've had mine for a little bit, so the hairs tend to go up like this. Does anyone else's liquid liners do this? Like when you go put the cap back on, maybe, whatever. All right, anyway. So I'm just gonna line my lids like this. And with this, you want to stay as close to the lash line um, so that it looks a bit natural. No, we're not going for a crazy wing today. And the trick is, if you don't have a steady hand, sometimes my hands could be shaky depending, I don't know, you can use your pinky as like your guide. So that when, so if you're trying to do this, like it could be a little shaky, you know what I'm saying? So a trick, put your pinky, like your nail, pinky nail on your cheek, and just use that as a guide so that you're not shaking all over the place, you know? So sometimes if you're lining your eye, either with a pencil or a liquid liner or gel, pomade, like whatever you're lining your eye with, you don't want to go down like where your eye, like your lid to the lower meets, like right here. You don't want to go down. You want to just kind of tend, like almost like you're about to do a wing, but you just stop at the end and leave a little lip, a little lip. So therefore my eyes don't look completely like turned down and they just are the same, okay? Going in with my Tarte Tardiest Pro Lash Glue, and that's in clear. Um, good to use clear glue, I'm just applying it like this. Good to use clear glue, um, especially if you're just trying out lashes or you gotta get the lash thing down. It's good to use clear glue because it's literally like your best friend. All right, I had went ahead and put my lashes on off camera. It just makes it so much easier, okay? Um, all right, so we're gonna go in with the face, okay? Uh, we are gonna go in with, what is it? Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Trippin', okay? Cause it's trippin' good, okay? All right, so I, so a trick is, I, I just wanna put this out there, cause this will really help y'all. If you want to glow from the inside out, but we're talking about the face, and then foundation on top, okay? You wanna do the glowage underneath that foundation. You know why? Because that glow is gonna peek through and give you that nice 
natural glow like you ain't even do this but we're doing it okay all right so what i do is put on the high points of your cheeks just like that we already glowing okay i'm just gonna take my fingers and buff that on on my skin black opal beauty true color foundation this one is Kalahari Sand, and this one is Truly Topaz. So I just, since this is a bit more tanner, I pump a little more of this onto the back of my hand like this. Just like that. And, and I do just a little bit of pump of Truly Topaz since it's a bit more tanner, and that's gonna help give me some color. So see, not as much as Kalihari Sand I picked. Then I go in with my clean beauty blender. Got this off of Amazon, okay? I just mix the two, just like so. And um, I usually don't like a lot of foundation. Um, so yeah, I don't do too much. And again, we ain't trying to waste product, okay? Um, go right in with this like this. And then you can still see that glow that we applied. All right, I finished up. It is good, I am covered. And you can still, again, see that glow, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the concealer I used to carve out my brows. Um, that's the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm using medium 26 and medium dark 32. Just medium 26. I literally just stay right here. And then I'm gonna go in with medium dark 32. Okay, just like that. And now I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just use the same side I was using and blend that out. Just know that I get it. All right, so then what I like to do, some people use powder as a bronzer, you can use creams as a bronzer. I currently like to use cream um, bronzing, contouring products. So this is the ColourPop No Filter Sticks, and this is in the color Deep Dark 190C. So this is the um, color stick foundation, and I use this to carve out my cheekbones. Um, yeah, it's like bronzer contour. So it warms up my face, and it's also contouring at the same time. So you can do this. And I'm gonna go up just above where the hollows of my cheek, when I um, start to blend, it'll all like go in the hollows of my cheek instead of below, okay? That's a little trick. And just go up just like that. Up above like that. And up just like that. And I'm gonna go back in and do the contouring of the nose, all right? I'm taking my Morphe M B39 buff brush. I'm just gonna buff that on in just like this. Okay. This instantly just warms up my face and contours at the same time, so I don't really need to go in and do too much. Just like that. We look in sun kissed, okay? So see that blending just went right into the hollows of my cheek instead of going below that. So then I take the rest on this brush, buff brush, and go on my forehead. And we're just warming up the face at this point. 
So I'm going to take that same ColourPop um, No Filter Foundation Stick. And then I'm going to go in with a very precise Morphe M138 brush. It's really small. It's a precise brush, very precise brush. And what I do is literally just dip onto that. And then I take the back of my hand, or maybe I can show you all this way. The back of my hand and just take off the access because you don't want to just, bam, go right onto it. You want to kind of just buff it out a little bit. So it's not, not really like harsh, like you don't want harsh lines. So I'm gonna follow my nose, just like that. So see how that brings it in? See this side, I didn't do anything. And it brings it right on in. I love my nose, I love me, but you know what? Nothing wrong with a little contouring, okay? Um, then you go up, so you don't wanna, when you're following the bridge of your nose to appear, to make it look a bit thinner, you don't want to go straight up. You want to follow almost like your orbital bone or your eye bone, um, just like this. And kind of like into the eyebrow without messing the eyebrow up. And then you just blend that into where you did your um, transition shade in your crease. Okay, just like that. We got a snatch nose, y'all. We got a snatch nose. All right, I'm gonna go back in. Get a little on the back of my hand. And do the same on the other side. I'm gonna go in with my um, Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Love this mascara, especially for my lower lids. I got tiny little pupils down here, so we need a nice thin brush. Love this brush. And it gets all the nooks and crannies of your lashes. And that's exactly what I need. I'm gonna tap. Get this onto the hairs down below. Um, then I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's um, loose highlighter, and this is in Nefertiti. I uh, love this stuff. It's super, super pretty. Let me see if I can actually show y'all. It's so pretty. It's like a peachish golden <laughs> highlighter. Goes right with today's look. Okay. I'm going to go in with my Morphe M32 highlighting brush. You can see it. And I'm just going to dip a little in here. It's very gold, so you don't need a lot. <laughs> and right on the high points of your cheek. Just like that. And don't be afraid. Put as much as you'd like on. I like to glow. And then I'm just going to go in with um, Bite Beauty um, Lipstick and Honeycomb. It's a nice like mauve color. I'm just going to pop that right in the middle. I really don't want that as the main color, you know. Um, then I'm going with Dose of Colors Honey I'm Home. Get it? Ooh, I just, I just, I just like <laughs> Bite Beauty Honeycomb. Dose of Colors Honey I'm Home. <laughs> I didn't plan that. All right. All right. This is like a nice nude lip gloss. I'm just gonna put that right all over the lip. That nice nude lip. Okay. That looks good to me. Who? We are glowing. Like, do y'all see this glow? Like, I'm not the only one that sees this glow. Like, whoo. Mm. Holy Spirit. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Okay. I'm just going to go in with the Slay All Day Setting Spray from Dry Cosmetics. I need to get some more. Okay. We're just going to spray a little bit. This helps to set it for all day. AKA Slay All Day. Yeah. 
just know that I get it. And there we have it. I love it. Y'all love it? I love it. All right, so that was it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe, comment, like, and of course, share it, girl, okay? I'll see y'all next time. Bye! So we're just going to jump right into this spring nice, nope. Hey guys, it's me, no.